<laughs> hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, this is President Joe Biden. Oh, Mr. President, how you feeling? You were sick for a while there, right? Yeah, man. I had COVID. Ah, so I understand. But I've now tested negative, and I'm feeling much, much better. Well, that's good to hear. Well, I for one agree, and so does my wife, Jill, who luckily has tested negative throughout this entire period. It was nice to see my wife again. <laughs> Kamala Harris wasn't so thrilled, I gotta say. Who? Kamala Harris, <laughs> the vice president of the United States. Oh, right, 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 okay. Yeah, you should have seen her face when she found out I tested negative. I haven't seen a sourpuss like that in a dog's age. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> See, if I die, she gets to be president. Yeah. Like, automatically. Yeah. From doing just nothing, just being around or whatever. <laughs> sort of a ridiculous system, really. <sighs> anyway, so we have this long-standing gag in the White House where she pretends that she wants me to die <laughs> so she can be the first woman president. Uh-huh. And boy, talk about committing to the pit. <laughs> Not only did she make a sour puss, <laughs> but she tossed an entire file folder of papers in some poor aide's face and stormed out of the room. I was like, damn, we got a regular Meryl Streep on our hands. <laughs> wow. I hope they weren't important papers. They were not. <laughs> we all picked them up, and, and it turns out they were just items for her vision board. <laughs> One piece of paper just said, be present on it. <laughs> That's another funny bit she does. She acts like she doesn't actually do anything important. She commits to that bit, too. Interesting. Uh, was your case mild or severe? Oh, Jimmy, I was lucky. Very mild case, mild symptoms. Cough, fever, chest pains, <laughs> fatigue, insomnia, <laughs> discombobulation. <laughs> Confusion, <laughs> moon downing, <laughs> all pervading sense of dread, <laughs> sniffles, temporary nut allergy, <laughs> coffee flatulence, <laughs> phantom vertigo, <laughs> gender dysphoria, <laughs> fear of water, <laughs> night terrors, <laughs> opioid addiction, <laughs> viscosity and thermal breakdown. <laughs> Priapism, papism, <laughs> and mild lower back pain. I was one lucky duck. Wow, it sounds awful, honestly. Yes, I, <laughs> I was in the throes of agony, Jimmy. I can't lie anymore. And dealing with all this in utter solitude was a living nightmare. I'm a changed person. My mind has been rewired because of this ordeal. Really? How so? Well, it was the visions. The hallucinations. Hallucinations? You know, like a fever dream. But these were so vivid. COVID was trying to show me something. What did it show you? It showed me the America that would have been had I not become the president. And? Jimmy was a horrorscape. Ah. Uh. In this bizarre universe, COVID is still running rampant. Yeah, but it is still running rampant. You yourself just got COVID. That's why we're talking about it right now. Right, but COVID had to give me COVID in order to show me <laughs> my vision. It doesn't count. But it wasn't just a specter of never-ending COVID that I saw. Oh, yeah, what else? Runaway inflation. <laughs> Gas prices through the roof. Regular Americans unable to make ends meet. <laughs> crumbling infrastructure. A doubling down on the police state. Continued inaction on climate change. A border crisis that is only worsened. Women stripped of their rights, endangering their lives. Dogs shitting inside. <laughs> <laughs> but, Joe, you are president, and that's what's going on literally right now. Huh? Yeah, you just described Biden's America. This is what a Biden administration has given us. Everything you just said. But, but no, the vision said it was not Biden. Where did you see this vision? On the wall of my bedroom. 
a glowing rectangular window opened up and showed me this bizarre world. Well, what's on that wall right now, Joe? A mounted television. Yeah, Mr. President, you simply watched the news while you were sick. Those weren't visions. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> no way. I was hallucinating. Are you telling me Humphrey Bogart made me eggs Benedict in real life? Okay, that may have been a hallucination. But- God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that may have been a hallucination, but I assure you the rest of what you described is real, and it's bringing real misfortune to everyday Americans. <laughs> well, then I royally screwed up. Yes, I agree. I guess I should try harder to use my powers to help everyday Americans. Yes. So, are you? <laughs> Am I what? You going to try harder? Oh, man. <laughs> Some of these symptoms are still lingering. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, this fatigue, it's still bothering me a bit. Uh-huh. Jimmy, I think I need to go lie down and rest these old bones some more. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> to be continued. I'll put a pin in this convo. We'll circle back eventually. Revisit this. <laughs> I'm sure we will. You take care, Mr. President. Oh, how nice. This just in. Kitty Carlisle has offered to make me blueberry pink. <laughs> Thank you, COVID. Good night. <laughs> Come see our stand-up comedy. We'll be in Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, lots more. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets.